Hello, 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 sweet loves. Welcome back to Sweets Unmuted. I thank you guys for tapping in with your girl's sweets, okay? To my new subscribers, I thank you, thank you, thank you for joining the Sweets Unmuted Soul Tribe, baby. To my returning subscribers, you already know how we do what we do when we do what we do, boo. I appreciate your love and your loyalty. I appreciate you for staying down and tapping in with your girl, sweets. So we're going to tap right into the energy and see what it is that spirit has for my sweet love. Holy Spirit, I surrender my mind, body, and spirit to you in this moment. I ask that you use me as you will. Use me as a vessel to convey the messages that you need to be conveyed to my sweet loves. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, sweet loves. Spirit, what is it that you would like my sweet loves to know at this time? Good news. Okay, y'all about to get some good news. You're going to receive some good news that will make you very happy. Answer the call when that time comes. It will change your life for the better. Okay? Four could be significant. Today is what? The second, is it? Today? Third. The third. Ooh, okay. Okay, 1103. What's going on, Trilla? Trilla in the building with that 1103. Okay? So, something, you could be receiving some good news tomorrow for someone. Okay? Patience is needed at this time. Stop trying to rush everything. We have everything under control. Okay? So, takeaway resonates, but I've seen good news I mean, good news was out here. As I pulled the patience card out, thief was there. So, I'm just going to say, I don't know. You guys could be rushing something. Some sort of financial blessing, I want to say. And spirit is basically saying, have patience. Because you have a thief around you. So, double confirmation that camera beep. He could be saying, have patience because you have a thief around you. So... Um, you know, he's not going to allow anyone to come in and steal what's meant for you. So you may need to have patience because look, as I'm saying it, ten of swords, have patience because someone that betrayed you may try to betray you again when you receive this good news. Okay. So take that where it resonates. Take that where it resonates. Leave what does not. Yeah, look, here I go again. Empress the thief. So for some of you guys, um, this could be for a masculine. Take it where it resonates. Okay, someone wants forgiveness. 314 could be significant. Someone wants forgiveness or this good news could be a part of some sort of um, reward for someone showing forgiveness. You're finally getting over something or someone. And though it wasn't easy, you will ultimately forgive and move on peacefully to set yourself free. Ooh, confirmation. Confirmation to the movement. You will ultimately forgive and move on peacefully to set yourself free. Six of swords, moving on from turbulence. Somebody has forgiven a situation, okay? Now, this came out crossing, right? But I had to read this, so though. It is what it is. But it's right in alignment, okay? You could be in the mix, Of forgiving a situation, accepting a situation for what it is. Double confirmation with that beat. Yeah, look, victory. And I, oh, that's cyberbullying. It was there when I split. I put it in and said it. Um, but you seen that cyberbully. So you having a victory and someone seeing you having a victory it traps them. Keeps them in their head. And that's why they would be the thief that would want to come towards you and try to 
sabotage whatever this blessing is. Because see, you have a victory and, and without them, that's not, that's not what they want for you. King of Wands, deep dark times and isolation alone from someone. Oh, and I just got that energy in a previous reading about someone being fearful and feeling alone. Okay. So you could be moving on from someone and this King of Wands, okay, that betrayed you. And they feel alone or they spending a lot of time alone. They spending a lot of time alone. And this could be connected to that previous three because that person was spending a lot of time alone because they was in bad health. So I don't know, but I am a co-creator, one with the earth, and all my ultimate worth. Somebody learned their worth. Somebody learned who they was. Someone learned their value and is walking away from this individual. That could have betrayed them 10 times. This person betrayed you at the betrayed you, betrayed you at the betrayal, at the betrayal, at the betrayal. Okay? Ten swords in your back. And they still want to work on it. They still want to work on it. There could be some situations with the six of swords here. There could be six specific betrayals, okay, that you've, you are in a mix of forgiving this person for or just moving on from. But there may be with it, because it's six of swords and ten of swords, right? So still maybe four betrayals that you may not even know about. You taking what you know and moving on. Your life will irritate many unhealed souls. Your ability to be able to do that is frustrating for this person. Your ability to not be bitter and be better triggers them. What else do you have, Spirit? Oh, that's a lot. Jeez. Okay. So, with this divine love oracle, I know that's about the blind side of being blindsided. Someone didn't expect you to be able to forgive and move on. Ancestral message. Listen, now is the time to listen. Double confirmation. Listen. So if you have any contact with this person, any communication, because right now it's heavy Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy out here with the Six of Swords and Ten of Swords. You could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they could be, or you guys could have it in your chart, highly aspect them in your chart, take, take away it resonates, okay? With the King of Wands, we do have Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? So... Someone didn't expect you to make it through and move on from these betrayals. They didn't expect you to forgive and learn and move forward. They didn't know that you were protected with protection over here. Okay. Someone didn't know. Oh, y'all ain't even get to see how them cards fell out. I'm sorry. Um, someone didn't know how protected another person was. Trust that you are being divinely guided right now. There will be extra protection around you as you face uncertainty over the changes that are occurring in your life. So you're being guided and protected while you forgive this situation for what it is and move on. So for some of you guys, um, yeah, inner child is, yeah, thank you, spirit, because I was feeling it and forgot these was even here. High honor, inner child, separation, and the six, six of pentacles, right? But what I was feeling and just was seeing high honor and inner child 
right? For some of you guys, these situations that you have to find in acceptance in, like the betrayals that happen, part of you may be fearful of reverting back to old ways with this inner child being here reverting back to old ways however you see this protection here the protection and high honor you have a lot of your angels and ancestors surrounding you guiding you i don't like the way this thing is with the lightness we love i'm sorry Thank you, spirit. And so I say, yeah, you should have been fixed that. 30, 25 could be significant. So. Oh, yeah. Somebody could be in the military or have been in the military or it's just really like of high status and like, uh. Because this 30, 25, a version of this number used to be my old badge number. When I worked at the airport, I think it was. So, I don't know. The airport could be significant. The airport was significant in the previous freedom with the travel energy. So, take that where it resonates. But you have a lot of people surrounding you and protecting you. You have a lot of your angels and ancestors, spirit guides. You see how this smoke is here? Okay. I told you in that... uh reading earlier y'all got the petty ancestors okay and they they love you they they it's whatever about you come on y'all heard that confirmation confirmation with that beat thank you angels and ancestors okay i don't think some of y'all know and realize how protected y'all are and even in spirit um having me deliver different messages to people a lot of those messages was about reaffirming and knowing the level of protection that you have around you. Okay. So some of you guys may be, you know, fearful of being triggered back into your old ways. You know, if you was a rough neck to say the least. Okay. You may be worried that, you know, not that you can't forgive and move on, but you may feel like it's hard for you to I keep hearing not get your lick back but in a sense of getting your lick back like doing something physically but your angels and ancestors are basically reminding you that listen you protected we gonna guide you towards what you need to do we got this shit set up how we need to be set up so that you ain't got to go back to your old ways that you parted from. Thank you, spirit, with this separation here. You don't have to go back to your old ways of being that you parted from. You protected. We protecting you from that. You feel me? We protecting you from that. You see on this card? They're here. You know, shooting these cannons. This, the, this is your whole spiritual team. This the old you back here. Not even. Reversal. It could be. Because I see it being like this the old you back here. And this is what you're heading towards. But then I just uh, seen whereas though this side would be your old you. And they're shooting the cannons off. Deading the old you. Okay. So it's according to how you see it with your eyes, you know, which perspective you see it in. But I do see it both ways. And see, that's the thing about me um, with the duality that I possess. And it's actually one of the reasons why throughout my life I have built such strong uh, bonds and friendship with masculine energies because one i'm ruin and cut about it. i'm gonna keep it real i can see it from a feminine perspective and from a masculine perspective you know i get both sides of the coin and this confirmation to me saying the coin 
25, okay? What's going on, five? Five in the building, my boy, five in the building. Know you up there shaking shit for sweets. Know that for sure. So you got to just, you got to know, you know, you got to know. What it is, you got to know that they, your, your angels and your ancestors and spirit. First off, spirit going to allow your angels and ancestors to shake shit when it comes to you. Okay, double confirmation with that beep on that camera. Spirit is going to allow your angels and ancestors that's protecting you. They're going to allow, he's going to allow them to shake shit for you as long as you putting in the work and trying to change. You feel me? When your angels and ancestors, when your spirit guys got to go back and report the spirit, like, yo, what, what baby girl down there doing? What the young king down there doing? No, nah, he really putting in the work, spirit. Big homie, he really putting in the work. Like, he cleaned up his act. He don't be lying. He don't be cheating. He focused on his business, put time in with the kids. He doing whatever. Oh, why? Right. How long it's been? Bruh, it's been like 18 months now. Oh, why? Right. What, what he asking for? I don't know. Lately, he been having trouble getting back and forth to work, whatever the case may be. He been praying for a car. Been having trouble with the car he got, whatever, whatever. Where that's coming from? Oh, his baby mother hating. She's sending him negative energy. So a little minor things came through and happened. But at the end of the day, he, he you know, he ain't reacting how he could have reacted. He ain't through the situation in a great manner. All right, yeah. Get him that call. Get him that call. Get him the money for that new call. Put her car out of commission for the next 30 days. That's that, that that's how it be. That that's how that divine orchestration be. But everybody don't see it, see it that way. Everybody don't don't not seeing, you know, how what you do comes back to you. The, the, how when you really put in the work, you know, you really do get rewarded. How when you let go of old patterns, old behaviors in toxic ways, you really do be protected. How when your, your, your spirit guys send you messages or send people to let you know that they see you, whatever the case may be, they're around you, they love you, that it's really what it is because they really up there watching you putting in the work. It's a whole nother realm. You just got to get in alignment with it to know what's going on and be and receive the divine guidance. But y'all getting it because y'all tapping in with your homegirl sweets. Okay. Yeah. Someone is separating from their old ways of being and still moving on, being kind. Remaining balanced in spite of what they have and don't have. And there's still work to be done. There's always work to be done. But it's about what you do right now. Because the actions right now have an effect on the actions to come. The actions now create the path for which way your future will go, regardless of what age you are. I watched um, Seven Days In with Kai Sinat. Uh, that Kai is so dang on funny. It's kind of confused me, but it's funny. And he, he keep you watching the day. You know, he touches me in different ways. Like, I really, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of him. And to know that he came from, you know, right in the areas, like, that's what's up. That's definitely what's up. And him and his mother, they funny. But 
he in the seven days in um there was a day where he invited like troubled male teens or whatever the case may be or or young men and the little boy in there was as young as eight years old omg eight years old and kai was basically saying that to him he was basically 226 could be significant 226 um he was basically saying 522 as well he was basically saying that um you know, your mother love you. Your parents care about you. I could tell your parents care about you by what you have on. Look at your fit. Your outfit fire. I know your parents care about you. You can't be doing what you're doing, cursing and wailing out. He started asking what he liked to do. Um, and, you know, starts, you know, giving him good guidance or whatever the case may be. And telling him, like, I personally have never been in jail, but I was... You at some point in my life, I just chose a different path and got my act together and, you know, didn't land here. So, you know, consider that because being in here is no fun. And then they had a guest speaker as well. But, you know, it's hard to change from old ways and old patterns. But at the end of the day, I could tell you what carry me through is. In so many ways, my I don't give a fuck attitude. Because I don't give a fuck about what nobody think about me. I don't care. I don't care. Give zero fucks. Zero. Zero zip zilch. Nada. I've mastered the ability to sit in front and mingle with people that do not, that can't fucking stand me. Double confirmation. <laughs> it says it said, boop, boop. Oh, yes, yeah, she did. You know? So it's just about your energy and how you how you handle things. I've learned to release control. It, it ain't in there for that. It ain't in there for that. Because I learned the reasons why people do a lot of the things that they do. And a lot of it has to do with their own inner child. Their own personal demons, their own personal insecurities. I, I, I recently reflected on um, a person that is known to have betrayed me, right? And at some point, in their life um, they had there was something that they were insecure about when it comes to themselves you know there was something that they didn't basically like about themselves um, but I had never known it I had never known it. So when corrective action was taken, I was shocked because I'm like, wait, where did that come from? You know, what 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 ignited that choice? And then it was, you know, told to me that that had always been an insecurity for them. And I understood it. I understood it wholeheartedly. 
but it was just something that I never literally paid attention to. And they even reassured me by saying, yeah, that's why I never used to do, you know, X, Y, and Z because of X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, oh, really? Like I was oblivious to the whole thing. But as I reflected on, I thought about it. It was like, I was oblivious to it because I never analyzed that person under a microscope or judged them in any harsh ways to be able to realize their flaws. Or with they or their own or their personal insecurities, you know. And it was, it also was part of me understanding where their jealousy towards me came. because they had insecurities that I didn't have. And even though, you know, I may have had insecurities, I own them. So, you know, that of course that doesn't make it right, but it helps you see things more clearly and understand why people do the stupid fuck shit that they do. <laughs> okay? With the, yes, as I said, hey, yes, it is. Okay? Double confirmation. It helps you. It, it puts you in that space of being able to just forgive and move on because you see things differently. You see things from a different like a different perspective and realizing that where you may have been one that may have been physical or you know very verbal whatever it is how you used to your old way of being it's like it's pointless to gravitate back towards that it's pointless because your old ways of handling things is not going to change anything because this is something that's within them that they have to do the work to change double confirmation. Thank you, ancestors. So it's like no matter what you do, you can't beat it in a person. You could talk to you blue in the face. They still ain't going to get it. So why put yourself at risk? Of all the hard work that you've done. And put in on yourself. Realize and see the situation for what it is and move forward. Because reverting back to old ways of being is only going to stagnate you. So that's what I have for you guys, sweet loves. Okay, spirit, I got Z. Oh, oh, this, 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 this is good. Okay, this is a little. All right. This was a little. And where my masculine energy is at? Because I'm telling you, I've been pulling on heavy masculine energy lately. But I'll be seeing y'all in the comments. Okay? If y'all being divinely guided, speak up. You can tell your story. It's a safe place for you. You can tell what you've been through. You can talk about your betrayals. I understand the bros too. I understand them. But yes, we love. That's what I have for you guys. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Book a read with sweets. Okay. 
If you're interested in booking a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. Love and light to you, sweet love. Good day.